dog, they ain't lost the kid. So my Muslim nigga did his whole bird. He said, Inshallah, we don't fuck with pigs. And that's no snitching. No, no snitching. No. One more time, no snitching. No. Hey, an ass nigga wanna murder me. Huh? Suit yourself, but you better shoot the witness. Alright, what's going on, YouTube? This is a Hacky Josh tutorial, and I am going to show you how to use the new multi beast, which was made for OSX Mavericks. Now, the reason I am doing a new video on this is because. The multi beast that was made for OSX Mavericks has changed slightly. The layout has changed, so some people might not know what to do once opening multi beast itself. If you are still on Mountain Lion, then you can check my previous video, a hacking just tutorial on multi beast, which was for Mountain Lion. But this will be titled slightly different with the name Mavericks in it, so you all know the difference between the two. So, anyways, let's get to it. So, as you can see, OSX. I mean, sorry, um, Multi Beast is here. So, you do get this off Tony Max website. The links will be in the description. And this is the 6.0 version. You'll see it on Tony Max website. So, once opening it, you see that it has literally completely changed. The layout has like completely changed because before it was just um, drop down and tick boxes, but now it's more of a. It's, I will say it's not. It's sort of more user friendly once you know how to use it. It's not that hard to figure out as if you just follow the instructions then it's quite easy. So the first thing we can see is that there are the subheadings at the top. So if we first click on quick start, we can see easy beast user DST to user DST free. Now if you do remember in the previous multi beast versions, it was sort of in a um, check boxes where it said easy beast user DST and DST free. So it's basically the same thing except you just have to click on whichever one you need. So as you can see I did click on DSDT3 which is what I use for my Z77 DS3H motherboard. And it works fine. Um, as you can see use a DSTT which means you can um, if you have made a DSTT or you have downloaded one you can select it. And Easy Beast, which most people do run just to see if it gets all the drivers on its own. So first you just do select one of them then you hit drivers tab and from here is basically if you do remember also in the previous version of multi -Beast, um, it was all in check boxes but now they have sort of laid it out in an icon way which is kind of more easier. Um, it's basically the same thing except you just slightly different in the way you do it. So as you can see for audio you, it's, it's selected first on its own so it's basically the same you just have to drop down whatever it is so mine is usually real tech a l c then i don't i don't need a dstv so without dstt mine is this one so you just select which one you need you don't usually need to do these because i am on the z77 ds3h there's hardly anything you have to do all it is is the audio and the network and that's it everything else just works on its own so that's why I do recommend building a Hackintosh with Z77 DS3H motherboards, but it's all on you. Anyway, let's move on. So, if you do want to do um, a driver for a disk drive, so basically um, a hard drive or whatever, then there's graphics. If you need graphics, there's also the MISC or the MISC, you can call it. Um, the network which I have to use is the Atheros driver this was previously also in the old multi beast which was for mountain lion it's the exact same driver which works completely fine also there's a system tab and that's about it bootloaders you don't have to touch that because it usually automatically just installs the latest version of chimera if not just make sure it is checked on the last version over here then you can customize it how you want I don't recommend changing these settings but if you do know what you're doing then just do it if you know but I recommend not doing it if you don't know what you're doing because you can mess up your Hackintosh and then build you just want to click build once you've done everything in these tabs you can hit build and then all you have to do is hit install you want to hit agree and then once you put your password in then it will install multi beast as usual restart your computer and everything should be working fine so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and rate. In dog, they lost the kid. So my Muslim nigga did his whole bird. He said, Inshallah, we don't fuck with pigs, and that's no